Hi everyone, welcome back to Howtex. Today we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 and we're going to show you how to add and remove a keyboard from the text input. So uh, to do this you want to go to the settings menu and you want to go to general which is down here, it's this one with the sliders. If you haven't already, do check out our other video for how to change the system language, especially if you get this uh, phone and it's in a different language. Um, and so after you've watched that, come back to this one because you probably need to add and remove keyboards as well. So you want to go to the first option, language and input, and then go to default keyboard and keyboards. So on-screen keyboard or physical keyboard, let's do on-screen keyboard. So you have uh, the option to edit any of the existing keyboards or manage keyboards to add or remove uh, additional ones. But in this case, let's just go to the Samsung keyboard, which is the default and now you can choose languages and then you have some options on predictive text, different options for uh, say Chinese for example, auto capitalization. So this is basically just how the uh, keyboard works and then other customizations if you wanted to change uh, the layouts, etc. And then because this is a Note 8 uh, and it has a stylus, handwriting is also a thing too. So anyway, for the languages, just go up here to the first one so now you see uh, the languages that are installed and you can manage input languages if you want to add additional ones. So let's, for example, let's add Korean. Uh, and then now if we go back, so Korean is also an option. And so for these guys, you have uh, different sub options as, as far as input methods. So for Chinese, for example, you can use uh, Latin characters using pinyin or you can do uh, based on the stroke numbers, etc. And you can do handwriting also. So let's just do opinion. And uh, I guess you can update these uh, periodically too when they come out with better versions. And then even for uh, Korean, you have different choices as well for keyboards, etc. So that's the basics on adding languages. And then for Chinese, you can do other things like insert next word with space key. Uh, and then they have fuzzy pinion input, which is in case you type the Latinization wrong, it can actually figure it out too. So that's good. Uh, actually, iPhone can do that. So it's good to see that uh, at least the Samsung Android phones can do it as well. So that's basically how you change the keyboard. And let's just see uh, what our options are now. So the languages are available here. So now that's the simplified Chinese with the Latin typing pinion. And then we also have our Korean here too, if you can figure that out. So that's the basics. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe and definitely check out our other how-to videos for the Samsung Note 8 and many other popular phones here on Howtex. See you later, bye. Okay, so one more thing, let's just try out the pen just for fun. Uh, so as soon as you take it out, um, it seems to know.